Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. Three identical spheres, each of mass small m, are kept in contact inside a box as shown in the figure. A box is moving vertically upward with an acceleration g by 4, then neglect friction. Here we have given four options and that is multiple choice question. So option first, normal force applied by the spheres on the bottom of the box is 9 by 4 mg. Option B, normal force applied by the spheres on the bottom of the box is 15 by 4 mg. Option C, normal force between the spheres vertical wall and B is 5 mg by 8 root 3 and option D, normal force between spheres A and B is 5 mg by 4 root 3. Now first of all, we have to think what the question is given. Here we have given the three spheres in a box such in a way they are identical which having the mass is m and the whole system is going to the upside with the acceleration g by 4. So therefore we know that very well when any object which is kept on another moving object. So here on the this block or this body pseudo acceleration is acting and its direction is opposite. So same concept applying here. So g by 4 this g by 4 is acting that is called a pseudo acceleration and here the g that is acceleration due to gravity and its direction obviously downward direction. So net acceleration that is 5 g by 4 okay and its direction is downward direction. So we have to ask first the net normal force. Net normal force means normal force n so therefore that is weight. So n equal to total weight. What is the total weight? m, m, m that is 3m and total acceleration that is 5g by 4. So n normal force equal to 15mg by 4 at the bottom. Okay. So here that is the first answer. Okay. So now here the option B option is correct. Normal force applied by the spheres on the bottom of the box is 15 by 4 mg and uh, remaining two options that is depend on normal force between spheres vertical wall okay let's see here whenever you know that very well the contact point that is the contact point so therefore here the normal force acting that is n1 due to this b and here from the center of this c sphere Again, this is the contact point and normal force acting, this is considered N2. Okay. This is equilateral triangle. As we know that all angle is 60, so it is also 60 and bisects, or we can say that is perpendicular. So it is divided in two angles 30, 30. Okay. So therefore, N1 divided in two components, N1 cos 30, and here N1 sin 30. And same process doing here. Here N2 cos 30 and N1 uh, sorry N2 sin 30. Okay. So therefore and this is the weight. So this N1 sin 30 and N1 N2 sin 30 that cancel out. So whole weight that is N2 cos 30 plus N1 cos 30 is equal to this normal force that is directing downward direction. So therefore, due to this sphere A, what is the weight that is M and total acceleration, it is acceleration due to gravity and pseudo acceleration that is G by 4. Okay. Here N2 and N1 because they are identical and so therefore N1 equal to N2. So here 2N and consider that is N. 2n cos 30 equal to m that is 5g by 4 
and uh, 2n what is the value of cos 30 that is root 3 by 2 equal to 5 mg by 4 2 to cancel out then n equal to 5 mg 4 root 3 that is the normal force that is the normal force between sphere a and b okay so therefore that is 5 mg 4 root 3 option d is correct so total correct answers b and d that is correct answer and i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work but if my video will help for your success then i will consider myself lucky thank you once again take care bye bye